What's going on, y'all? It is Thursday, March 2nd. Pops and I are back in the shop. He's back there in the corner somewhere. Yo. <laughs> we, uh, we got a lot of cleaning to do. So that's kind of what we're concentrating on right now. And um, as y'all know, we got Blake's 602 crate in. It's a brand new crate. Come from Twisted Performance and Machine. I'm gonna give Pops a second and get that steel stacked up. With it. You done? I'm done, man. Um, he was cleaning up some steel back there, plate steel. Um, we got the crate in. We got everything done except for the power steering. We got to put the power steering pump on, get it shimmed right, get that belt and all on. Uh, we had some parts come in today uh, from Bright Racing. Shout out to Bright Racing again. Those guys are two-day shipping. Uh, we had to order Blake's uh, throttle spring, throttle stop, uh, new throttle rod, and uh, well, Weir's machine, J-Bar. Uh, we did find that the J-Bar in this car was bent. So um, we ordered all that, all that come in. So that's what we're going to be working on this evening. Uh, Blake will probably be working on a lot of it. Uh, that, uh, Pops and I are going to work on getting the right front upper control arm back off, get it completely welded up, braced, and all finished how we want it. And um, we, we had, had planned to do that the other day, but we got busy. Uh, the motor, the whole engine swap thing kind of got crazy. So we have a mess in the floor. We've got oil dry on the floor, uh, lead in the floor that Blake was pulling off that didn't need to be on the car anymore. So we're going to take a little bit. I'm going to put it on time lapse. We're just going to do some cleaning in the shop and get it cleaned back up, get our car pushed back over, engine hoist out of the way. And uh, we're going to get busy on this thing and get this thing knocked out mechanically. And then that way it'll be sheet metal work from here on out. So y'all hang out with us. We got a lot of content coming. All right, y'all, we got the shop kind of cleaned up. As y'all see, the floor's wet. Uh, we have got to get on the roof of this shop and do some patchwork because, as y'all know, the southeast and southwest and midwest has been hammered with storms the past couple of days. And we got about two and a half, three inches of rain overnight last night, and it's starting to rain again right now. So also, this slab does not have a moisture barrier under it, and this slab was built. When I was probably nine years old, 10 years old, 27, 30 years ago, something like that. But anyway, yeah. So this, uh, this slab don't have a moisture barrier under it and it sweats a lot, but, uh, pops just got that tire pulled off and, uh, we're going to pull that all apart, swap that spring in that right front. Cause we were going to do a little bit of different setup stuff on this car like we've talked about in the previous videos. So we're gonna be putting that spring on this side and then we have a new spring that's gonna go on the right front. So this side also has to come apart in a little bit. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it on real time and uh, y'all can watch us pull this stuff apart. I'll get that control arm welded up, boxed up, braced up, and we'll get all that back on there. So y'all hang out with us. Mm -hmm. There you go. Right. You may have to that bolt out. Hmm. Clear tight. 
Dia. Tudo esgotado. Pesky bolts in your car. Do you need a screwdriver? <laughs> Just take the bottom off. We recommend a bent Phillips head screwdriver to get it right out. Right out. We gotta remember. Uh, tie rod back up too. Yeah, that ain't tight. Nope, it's not. This is kind of stuck in the hole. Anybody gonna be racing this weekend? I don't think so either. Unless they race the motorboat. Yeah. If y'all know where any good jet ski races are, let us know. <laughs> We're gonna try to find us a cheap jet ski. That's about all it's gonna be racing this weekend. Good old flat bottom. Get us a, get us one of them four foot wide flat bottom. I think it's about a 225 every root on the back of <laughs> Set the front end on this Swap-a-roni. Swap-a-roni. Let's go. 
five, five, and zero. Well, it zoomed out. I didn't know if y'all could see me over there on the vise welding that control arm up. Here, we'll do that for a minute.
Sorry, y'all. I wasn't even recording anything. <laughs> right front lower control arms laying right there. It is completely welded. I put a brace in it. I uh, capped that open end on it that we needed the cap. I've got it hanging right there, cooling off. Blake's gonna paint it. Me and Blake are working on, he's putting in a fuel line fitting. Pops has the rear end taken apart. Working on J-Bar and left rear spring. So we got a little bit of everything going on right now. I'm about to turn the camera back on. I forgot to. Just start a minute ago. What are you talking about? Yeah, we're talking about stuff. But anyway, we're gonna keep working. Oh, you got a marker over there. We'll see that. It's about right there. It's just three inches down. So there's a white mark right there. Right. At the top of it now. Okay. So you can probably just measure yeah. from it. We got a shim back. I did, it's on top of fuel, sir. Man, that's perfect. We got a shim back. Uh, uh, Shoot that back on there. Uh, yeah, that should have been a good thing. Yeah, I had them on there, right? Uh, when we had the motor over in it. They were there. Three quarters, seven, six, seven, three more. What is that? I need a 516 bolt longer than this stud, but the 516 bolt I've got is the exact same length. Which is still might work. Because the stud was bottomed out. go with it. It ain't tough. It ain't real tight yet, but yeah, it's all. Right. You go with it.
chain extension. Uh huh. Make a chain extension. Make a chain extension. Yeah. Make a chain what? Chain. Chain extension. Chain extension. Man, you forgot to cut the other one on this thing. I've been mean, sitting on it right now. The chain's about ready to go back in. No hardly. Got an inch. Yeah. But you also got to think when it goes at right height, it's going to come left. So we're going to have to get it close to right height and then measure what we got. And then make a determination of what we're going to have. Will the right height stay the same, Chris? Or will it? Yeah, yeah. Well, we only had three inches from right height, then we just won't have to cut. We only got about an inch left when we're hitting the thing. Yeah, we may have to. So you got like two. Do some finagling. You in it and all that, it's going to go down one another. Yeah. Three quarters of an inch to an inch. Yeah, but all your group numbers are made from right height. Yeah. So we we'll might have to cut it. <laughs> we'll just have to see. Take it out and leave it out. Just let it hit the Not the way you are when we're Hey, he's got a good point. It could, have, it could create some self clearance there. Yeah. Throttle stuff don't fit a steel carburetor too good. I know that. Uh, at least we know now. Yeah. Look over there in that. Look over there in that paint. Thing up top. Yeah. There might be some blue painters taping there. Yeah. 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 Don't jinx it. First time I was just ruined. <laughs> what are you doing back there? The bolts are 
fixed up inside the the uh, the uh, spacers. Oh. Whoever <laughs> Blake Ball says, he just said that's the most he's done all day. He knows. What? Oh, that right there? Take that controller on up. Get these uh, spacers out of this. Uh, <laughs> well, you 
you mess up your length of your bar. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wait. He's trying to get space that slop on the side. I'm just saying turn. <laughs> you might as well start looking for a five a time. Yeah. <laughs> so if you just do this. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, thank you. I was say, I used to talk about the iron man No, <laughs> it was it was sticking, I got it on stuck, but it's got a little bit of slack in it right there. It's part of that part of that maintenance program we've been talking about. I got uh or lack Well you know, I think I would need a hire after racing it two times. Well, when you hit nine things in those two races, I guess I can see it. You never know, bro. Stuck and loosen up in one of these. Yeah. My maintenance is pristine. I'll pop that one up here. Maintenance is pristine. The man says. I want that Mike in program. Pristine, he said. You think it's time for time? I got some time. I mean, if y'all don't want to jack with the length of it, though. Huh? I didn't know what length of it. I got high on the truck. Brand new one. You think it's time? Well, it, not there, it's going to feel real good. Okay, you get one? Yep. Yeah. Uh, while I got it right here, I'll swap it out. figuring out right now. He put that white lithium grease on that throttle rod thing. Yeah, right? yeah, play it well. Hey, a battle chain. Ha! <coughs> hey, <a> battle chain. <laughs> a little bit like a spring door chain. Oh. throw this on time lapse because we got to get something done we in there goofing off too much i'm working on the throttle spring return bracket and the throttle stop bracket i just got all that bolted on we had to make it work it didn't really fit this carburetor good so carburetor sorry if i don't i said that in a southern way carburetor <laughs> but anyway we're gonna throw it on time lapse we're gonna try to get something done y'all hang out <laughs> y'all 
Well, Blake got everything painted up here. He painted black on gray. But it'll work because it won't rust. But anyway, we got our spring swapped here. He's got the upper control arm out back. He painted it. We'll get it all put back on. Everything painted. Uh, Blake put in the uh, fuel pressure fitting in the rail. We got the uh, spring bracket on, throttle stop on. Blake just put in the throttle rod. So everything should be good there. We got to get that power steering pump shimmed and put on. Pops has been working on the rear end. He got the J-Bar, new Weir's machine J-Bar put on the rear end side. Kind of just sitting on the underslung right now. We'll get all that bolted in. And we done some spring swapping on the left rear. So we'll uh, we'll get all that on there and uh, we'll get all that tightened up and set where we want it. And then we'll get that J-Bar bolted up. We do know per the rules that we have a copy of, we do know the rules. We do know that aluminum J-Bar bracket is technically illegal even though it don't serve any purpose or any benefit. But the car's been through tech twice, so I think we'll be okay. I can guarantee it don't serve any purpose. <laughs> yeah, so, um, I, yeah, maybe that aluminum J-bar back could help you in the seat. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we're going to call it a night. We got a pretty good bit done with what we wanted to get done. Uh, we're getting ready to put this thing at ride height and start setting suspension how we want it. We'll get it on the scales. We'll check our caster camber, and uh, we'll get everything set how we want it. Well, that's going to be a wrap for this one. <coughs> I think this is part five, six, maybe. I don't know. Who knows? But anyway, <laughs> that's going to be it for tonight. We appreciate y'all hanging out with us. We just went over 400 subscribers. We thank y'all. Uh, hats will be in either tomorrow or Saturday. Today's Thursday, so it'll be either tomorrow or Saturday. We'll have our hats, and those are available. So y'all hit us up, y'all let us know, and until next time. Appreciate y'all watching. God bless you. See y'all.